Welcome to Laisel's Artistic Studio. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint this adorable and easy farm truck. I'm really excited for this tutorial because it's just fun. There's no pressure. It doesn't have to be realistic or perfect. It's just relaxing and plain fun to paint. So let's get started and don't forget to like and subscribe. For our supplies today, we first need our truck drawn lightly on watercolor paper. Now, if you're new to my channel, go back and watch my previous tutorial on how you can easily draw this truck. It only just takes a few minutes and I will walk you through it step by step. It really is simple. So give it a try by clicking the link above or at the end of this tutorial. We also need a small and medium round brush, a pencil so we can add some cute flowers in the bed of the truck, a fine point Sharpie marker, which is optional, some clean water, a paper towel, and of course, watercolor paints. Mine are mixed with a little water and are ready to go. I have a pretty blue, a yellow orange, yellow, green, and black. Now these are colors that I'm choosing to use, but you are the artist for your work so you can choose any colors you like. Something I really like about this farm truck is that it can be so versatile and painted to match any holiday or season. Here's another great example of how I painted this truck for St. Patrick's Day a while back. All right, enough talking, let's get started. So first, let's draw some cute, simple flowers in the bed of the truck using your pencil. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy here. I just want this to be fun, but you can do whatever kind of flower you like. For mine, I'm just gonna draw a swirl for the middle part of the flower, then add five or six petals and a stem. Now I'm just gonna trace over my flowers with my fine point Sharpie marker to help them stand out just a little better. Now this step is optional, and if you're wondering about leaves on the flowers, don't worry, we'll add them in later. Okay, it's finally time to get painting. So let's start by painting the cab of the truck with water first using your medium round brush and take care to paint around the little bubble highlights that have been drawn previously. Now take some of your blue paint and apply it more to the base of the cab. Then using your brush, spread the color to all of the edges. The idea is to have the color darker near the bottom and as you spread it upward, it will thin out and be a little lighter of a value at the top. And as a side note, you can switch to a thinner brush for the skinny areas if you need and don't forget to paint around the bubble highlights. Now we're going to paint the remaining body of the truck in a similar way. We will be painting sections at a time, painting with water first, applying the paint near the bottom of the section and then spreading it out to the edges, making it lighter at the top and avoiding the bubble highlights. And for a quick tip, as you move around from section to section, the key here is to make sure that your paint is dry before painting a new section that's right next to it, or your paint will all blend together and you won't have crisp, clean individual areas. All right, well done. Let's paint our cute flowers next. So take some yellow orange and paint all of the petals. And because I drew these flowers over with marker, I'm not too worried about painting perfectly inside the lines. It can give a little character to not. Then after the petals are painted, add some yellow to the centers. All right, let's add some leaves to our flowers by using some green paint and a small round brush. Start by having the tip of your brush lightly touch the paper, then press downward on your brush as you move it downward to make a nice leaf shape. Then lift it up again at the end. 
When you're done with that, let's move on to the wheels of our truck using a similar wet on wet technique as before, but this time let's just paint the top of the wheel with water. Then add some black color at the bottom of the wheel and spread the paint upward until it hits the watered down area and starts to spread on its own. Then just push the paint to the edge of the pencil marks and a tip to help keep the top of the wheel lighter in value is to wipe your brush on your paper towel to take off any excess color or water. And then you can continue spreading the paint. Now take a touch of black with your small brush and paint the handle of the truck, painting around the highlight. Then do the same to the headlight on the truck with a bit of yellow orange. And for our final step, take some green on your small brush, dab the tip of it on a paper towel to take off excess paint. This will help keep your lines thin. And then add a few blades of grass under your truck next to your wheels. And here is your fun and finished, adorable farmhouse truck that will be a great addition to your spring and summer decor. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please check out more of my videos and be sure to subscribe so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.